and into those moments of hope and humanity. Those are the times that are getting us through all of this these days, and we can't get enough of them. Our James Longman has our Good News Roundup. Hi there everyone, it's great to be with you sharing some more good news and there is plenty of it, especially out of China, Wuhan, that town where all this began, well it's finally opening up after 11 long weeks. Our team has been there capturing the city coming back to life and we've seen long lines of people at the train station waiting to travel and a time lapse, pretty extraordinary video shows traffic flowing back through the city. And over in New Zealand, they've used an elimination approach rather than a containment one. And that means they've only recorded one death. And there was this fun message from the Prime Minister about the Easter Bunny. You'll be pleased to know um, that we do consider both the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny to be essential workers. Next up, a really fun project has started here in the UK. It's between airlines and the healthcare service, and it's to start first-class lounges in hospitals to be able to give doctors and nurses a rest from their relentless work. It's called Project Wingman, and a number of airlines are taking part. It was launched by British Airways and EasyJet, and since many air staff, of course, are grounded, they've volunteered in full uniform to offer a bit of luxury service to people on the front line, and it is making a real difference. I spoke to some of the crew involved, as well as the medics, to see how this is being received. I said, we've got all of these crews sitting around here with fantastic skills that we can really help out in the hospitals with. So I said, right, let's get um, crew in, doing what they do best, in uniform, and let's deliver some first-class service to our NHS staff. The, the idea being that they delivered first-class service to the patients, so we then reciprocate and deliver first-class service to them. You just need to break away from the clinical area just to get your head back in the space. It is fantastic. And suddenly we were surrounded by gorgeous stewards and stewardesses taking our order and giving us and honestly, after the night that they'd had, they just felt cared about. The impact of this has been beyond our wildest dreams. They're so appreciative. They want to have just a few minutes not thinking COVID, not thinking NHS, not talking about this sort of stuff. Such a brilliant thing to see, and it's likely it could be rolled out in countries all around the world. Next up, Russia is known for its top-class ballet dancers, but now they're performing in slightly stranger surroundings. Take a look. It really is enchanting. And Heartbeat Opera has opened up in New York, spreading joy with this rendition of Make Our Garden Grow. And there are so many heartwarming stories of people who are recovering from COVID-19 and being celebrated as they leave hospital. This hospital in Nevada has sent its first COVID-19 patient home. So you're a forever part of our team. Thank you so much. And meet Dr. Paul Saunders. He's a heart surgeon in hard hit New York. And last month, he tested positive for COVID-19. And now, today, take a look. He's back making his rounds, checking the sickest patients at May Manita's Medical Center. Our thanks to Dr. Saunders and all medical professionals putting their lives on the line around the world every single day. And the tributes to them have been pouring in one by one. heartwarming to see. Stay safe, everyone, and be good to each other. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.